Welcome back to the amazing city of Chiang Mai, Thailand, and thanks very much for tuning in as always. In today's video, I am looking at three budget units available around the Santitam area of Chiang Mai. What can you get for you know less than a couple of hundred dollars in the fantastic city of Chiang Mai? So let's go and look at some rooms. Yes, and this is the unit we're looking at in the first building. Let's go and check out the view first. I'll give you the price at the end. I wonder if it's a balcony. Oh yeah. Uh, look at the balcony. As I said, we are in the Santitam area. Yeah, that's where we just walked in there. Yeah. And yeah, so you have a small balcony. This is the second floor we're on at the moment. And yes, this is a budget room. Beautiful view though. Let's close the curtains and we've got a view here as well. Ooh, let's get a better view than that. Yeah, there we go. And this is the room. So nothing fancy. You've literally got a bed, a TV and a small table. Um, if I was staying here, probably yeah, you could work on this, couldn't you? You could work on this, but maybe get an office chair. Uh, that would be my, uh, my top tip. Small fridge. That's all you need. I think they do daily here as well, it seems. And the yeah, bathroom. So it's quite sizable, more than normal. Bit of a mirror. I have sort of a built-in wardrobe here as well. Let's see what's inside. Yeah, so a bit of storage. So, yeah. This room is priced at 5,000 baht per month. So if you're interested, obviously the link will be in the description for this building. But I'm yet to ascertain what the electric price is, so I'm gonna go and check that right now. Just wanna give you sort of a bit of a tour of this building. So, I mean, it's what it's gonna look like when you're, when you're walking through, if you're staying here. So, uh, I haven't seen a lift, I haven't seen a lift, but yeah, I mean the steps are not that strenuous, are they? Unless you've done a big shop or something. So uh, yeah, there's uh, communal washing machines here, and yeah, this water thing, these are extremely cheap. You can sort of get an empty water bottle and you can fill two litres for like one bat and a bit, so yeah, it's not too bad at all. Plenty of room to park your bike and car. And yeah, I'm going to just ask about the electric. Got dog up? Yeah, fight, all right, up. Fight, electric. Bed, bed, bed. Ah, okay. Okay, cotton back up, cotton cup, cotton cup. So that's one of the issues. It's eight back for electric, and the actual charge is just over four. So places like this make a lot on the electric. You want your air on all the time? You might as well rent a condo at sort of six, five and get the proper electric. So that's sort of a comparison. When the electric is that much inflated, yeah, it's gonna to add to the bill. So, you know, what do you think of this? Let's have another sort of glance from the exterior. I mean, I don't think that's bad. If you're not using the air too often, yeah, maybe a couple of thousand a month. This way we can get to uh, Maya. If we walk this way, probably 15 minute, 20 minute walk to Maya. And this is the place here, the Empress. So yeah, the pin will be in the description. This way is into the main thick of Santitam. Now I'm gonna look for two more buildings um, and sort of show you about what you can get for a budget. Now 5,000, I thought that was, I was expecting it to be a bit less, but I think it's set up as a hotel as well. So you can get cheaper than that. Well, I came to this place for my second attempt for a budget option, 2,200, no fan, but it's full, so I can't show you a room. So two more to look at still. But so yeah, this is, uh, this is what, it's not a very good vantage. I'm gonna walk over there while talking and give you a better vantage. But yes, yeah, so if you want to get something for less than 3,000, sort of $60 even, it is possible. Now, I personally couldn't stay without an air conditioning. Well, <laughs> I couldn't do that. And I wouldn't even attempt it. But yeah, this is uh, here. This is a 2,200 baht room. Now, I didn't ask what the electric was because we couldn't look, at it, look in a room. But I don't think, I think you can't complain, can you? I mean, 20 minute walk from Neiman. 2,200 a month. Anyway, let's find a room that we can actually look at. The joys of looking at budget rooms, it's a lot more difficult than looking at more expensive ones. There's no office at this building, so we can't even go and attempt to look. But again, this is what a budget room looks like. Something like this. Now, I would guess this would be in the 3,000s per month for something, something similar than this. But as we can see, there aren't any airs, so it might be even cheaper. Now, of course, the, I would guess that if you're coming to Thailand, you're going to prefer to have air conditioning units. Well, I would, as we said, 
earlier on. I couldn't live without them. But I'm trying to get into two more. And I may attempt to document every one I attempt. Now, you might be wondering, probably not, but you might be, how do you make your condo videos? I just sort of rock up to a building and uh, if there's anybody there to show me around, very good. If there's not, i move on to the next one. There are certain buildings that I've attempted to make videos of and the office don't have any available units. So that's just something of interest. Now this doesn't look budget. Monthly room for a few. It doesn't look budget, but let's have a look. The Consulate of Ireland is here. Hang on, let's go and have a look. It might be, it might be of interest. Anything less than five is budget, so let's go and look. See, so yeah, I thought we can look at this room as well. This is a little bit more than the last one that we looked at. And yeah, let's look at the balcony first. Decent balcony, that is decent. Not much of a view, but you don't need that. Very small room though, very small room. I mean, this is basically all you get. You got your bed, counter TV. You could work here. That would be suitable for working. I quite like the yellow, I must admit. <laughs> The bathroom is, yeah, it's just standard, isn't it? It's basic. So this is another budget room. Now this one is 6,000 a month, so is that budget? Technically for a room like this, that is budget. There are more budget ones available, but I'm struggling to get into any. So there is a problem with this room. It's tin bad for electric. <laughs> don't stay here, that, that's what I would say. But if you don't mind about that, then do stay here. And that's the one I attempted to get into there. <laughs> So yeah, this is what it looks like. It's really nicely done outside here. And yeah, we've done it to a decent or a great standard. So yeah, I mean, that room is not too bad, 6,000. But 10 baht for electric, that's just too, that's, you know, a bit ridiculous. You can, can just see Maya just over there somewhere. So this is where we are. The first one we looked at was just over there. Well, that's the green one that we attempted to go in and the pink one we attempted to go in. And yeah, I'm attempting, I'm going to try to, and hope to, get into a cheaper one. So let's go and have a look. So, well, that's two units that we've seen today around the Sanditam area. I would call these sort of mid-range, low-budget units, as opposed to ultra-budget. But they're still budget, they're less than $200. So for that price, you can't actually go wrong, can you? Now, we've also seen that it is quite difficult to, to find these units, because you go into a building, there's no office, and there is no rooms available to look at because it's full so that can often happen so that's something to bear in mind if you want to sort of rock up to a to a ultra low budget destination there is a chance it's going to be full or unavailable so that's something to bear in mind but two units what you can get under 200 dollars i think that's of interest i like to do an ultra budget video at some time so i want to show you that as well and yeah that's it thanks for tuning in